Hello guys, Craig from Fix It Fellows and as you can see I am not in the garage, I am in the garden and today I am with my family heirloom. Yes, this is my family heirloom. This is a vintage Bell cement mixer. My dad bought this in 19, well, debatable, 88, 89. And he bought it when he was building an extension on the back of his property. This thing has done a lot of work and you'll be hard pushed to find one in a better condition. Now, admittedly, it's a bit like Trigger's broom. Well, only in so much as the paintwork, it's been fully stripped down before and repainted. And it's probably due another one. Um, I need to give it as much TLC as my dad did. So um, yeah, these are great machines. Um, I think they're better than the, the more recent builds in so much as that the, the stands are stu super, super sturdy. Um, slightly different design on these stands now to the more modern ones. Um, the gauge of the metal is nice and heavy and uh, yeah look this hasn't been bashed to pieces look at that drum okay yeah there's some deposits in there which I need to clean out but the drum is pretty good and intact that hasn't been bashed to pieces so what are we doing with it today well we're looking at the fact that the motor is turning but the drum is not so more than likely it's a belt issue so let me show you how you get that sorted Okay, so on this machine you uh, grab hold of this metal cover plate here and put it up and it reveals the switch, your uh, motor unit and then here is a cover that contains the drive pulley from the motor and the large pulley that goes in or engages with the gear mechanism and obviously the belt. So it's just a case of undoing these uh, eight mil bolts the screws here and down here so i shall whip them off and then we can see what's going on behind there so here we go we've got the what i would call like the pinion pulley which is directly off of the motor and then we've got like the spur pulley the larger one which engages with the gear mechanism that turns the drum so look you can turn that with your finger and the drum starts turning okay um, and this is the belt, so it's a V-belt, uh, a toothed belt there, and it's toothed I think so that um, toothed belts can actually bend greater, so this has got quite a small pinion drive pulley so it needs to bend quite tight around here. And then the motor unit here has a bolt all the way through there, that's a 19mm nut this side and a 19mm head on that side and you undo that lift this whole motor unit up and you can put tension on this belt well as it turns out the motor in is, is in its fully extended position so we cannot put any more tension on that belt so if you have any load or weight in uh, the drum so if you have your aggregates in there your, your ballast and your sand and your cement in there uh, it doesn't take much weight in there for this belt to start slipping um, so what happens is this drive pulley spins around um, but the belt just stays in place and obviously if the belt's not moving this spur pulley is not moving hence that doesn't move so it's a case of replacing this belt so we just need to undo the bolt here to drop the motor unit down to get this belt off and then we can have a look to see what uh, code is on the belt to see if we can order ourselves a replacement so okay I've undone the bolt down there and now you can see the rotor unit can be lifted up and down like so if I lower it right away down you can see I can lift the belt off and take it off like that okay yeah so I've been onto the bell website and uh, to, to be fair they list quite a lot of older spare parts for their bell cement mixers but typically you can only get spares from uh, post 1989 onwards now this machine is pre-89 
and they don't do the spares for it anymore, which, you know, to be fair, is understandable. I mean, how many cement mixers can still be 35 years old or more? So, can't buy a belt from them direct, so it's a case of going online and buying it from elsewhere. So, the, exist the belt that was on this machine was a Goodyear belt, um, and it's saying it's an HYT V belt, 13A640, uh, da, 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 MCA 610LI. Now a little bit of research has told me that... So 610LI stands for the length internal. 610 being 610 mil. The 13A correlates to the width of the belt. Obviously it's a V belt and the HYT was just saying Goodyear do. It's like a high, high strength belt. Um, and the A24, the A is in reference to the cross, cross reference, the cross section shape of the belt. Um, so an A, as far as I'm aware, is typically 13 mil, 13 mil wide, and has an 8 mil uh, width on the inner side there. Um, and this belt is no longer 13 mil wide. It's about 10 mil wide, and the cogged section, get into focus there, which was meant to be 8 mil wide, is probably only 5 or 6 mil wide. So yeah, this belt is fairly worn. So anyway, I've been online. I've put in all these details and I've ordered myself a suitable replacement belt. And this is my new belt. Okay, so it's a PIX, let's get it in focus, a PIX Extra. There you go, it's an A24 13, so 13 mil wide, 610 internal length. And we can see if we put the two belts side by side, the new belt on the right, old belt on the left, the new belt is considerably wider and then the sort of width of the tooth section is considerably wider on the new belt compared to the old. So what's actually happening, happening here is the new and old belt are no different, different in length. The old belt hasn't stretched at all, but what it is is because its width has diminished, it can now slip down deeper into both of the pulleys that effectively makes the diameter of the pulleys smaller, which means that the pulleys have to be further apart in order to keep tension on the belt. Um, and the machine has got no further adjustment in it, so we can't pull that further apart anymore in order to keep the grip of the belt on the pulleys. So, with the new belt being wider, it will no longer slip down into the pulleys any as much as it did and we won't have to have the pulleys so far apart and that in effect keeps the belt shorter so all should be good so here you can see if I put the old belt on let's try and do it with one hand you can see how much it can sink down into that large spur pulley. It sinks right down, so the bottom of the bottom edge of those teeth are effectively sitting on the deepest part of the pulley. And then likewise on the drive side, on the drive pulley, on the spur, on, on the pinion bit rather, that belt has gone right down into, into that uh, recess. So the sides of the belt are no longer pinching onto the sort of um, tapered wall of the pulley so that you know it's not getting any adhesion to that at all. Now in contrast, let's get that one off, we put the new belt on and you can see straight away the belt sits much higher, it's bottom edge doesn't actually go down into the bottom of the pulley rather it's the sides of the belt that are being pulled under tension against 
the tapered side of the inside of the pulley and the corresponding thing will happen on this larger pulley here so in effect it makes the belt shorter so we can now pull this motor unit up and we'll get a nice bit of tension on that belt Turn the unit on. All good. Just so you know, this is a Bell actually manufactured uh, a for and supplied by Bell. This would go on a more modern cement mixer. So as you see, it's not a V Bell, it's a flat Bell and it is properly toothed. And my understanding is that they now use uh, toothed uh, cogs as opposed to pulleys so yeah these belts under that code there do not fit pre-89 machines pre-89 machines are a V belt and V pulley setup so there you go there's the old Bell pre-89 cement mixer up and running for who knows decades to come that bell I bought online cost me less than a fiver delivered. The machines are good now. So, it's in good hands, Dad. I'm still looking after it. And it will eventually get this bit of patio in completed. When it's done, Dad, get you down here and we'll have a beer and toast the old girl, shall we? Cheers. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and ever please like and subscribe. Bye bye.